My name is Melanie Gunatilaka. I'm an independent uh, protester uh, who joined the uh, Golfist uh, struggle as a uh, non-violent, non-partisan person. So uh, I joined the uh, protest of SYU on last 24th uh, to support them because uh, because of all of the regulation that they've been bringing in with the high security zone gassets and uh, the state oppression. So there I was arrested while standing on the pavement. Uh, they didn't tell me uh, why or any reasons to as to why. And today we are here to face the court case. So the problem is that this is a waste of time of, 20, uh, of 82 people and the judges, the police officers and all of the other officials involved. And we are currently facing an economic crisis and how are we to find solutions? How are we to provide? How are we to use our time and energy to find solutions to support our country if we are to waste our time like this? And uh, this is not okay. What, what they're doing right now is intimidation. They are trying to show if anybody is raising their voices, if anybody is trying to speak up against injustice, that they will have to go through this lengthy process and sit out this uh, and waste their time, and that this that disrupt their day-to-day -day lives, right? So they didn't have any evidence against us. They just said that they are going to continue investigations. There are enough and more uh, videos, and there was media and there were records taken by the people here, but they still didn't have any evidence. So what is the point of this other than intimidation and other than trying to shut down the voices of the people who are asking questions? People go down, people go out of the streets because we are facing issues, because there are, there are people who don't have food to eat. The malnourishment of the country is high. There are children who are starving. So this is like we are asking questions because there are people of Sri Lanka who are facing issues. So instead of providing answers, shutting down the people and trying to repress and suppress the voices of people, for asking questions is not a solution. So as, a, as someone who participated in the Aragal and who believes that who believes in power of the people. I believe that we will continue to ask questions. We will continue to struggle. We, we, we won't back down in face of this injustice and in the, in the face of this uh, intimidation. Thank you.